You are welcome, viewers all over the world. I sincerely appreciate you for following this series of prophecy towards the new Nigeria. Like I used to tell you, weeping may last for the night, but joy come in the morning. Our morning is very close. The new dawn is close, closer than what you think. I believe that as we key in into this word of God, that weeping lasts for the night, but joy come in the morning, we will suddenly see the new dawn. There are people that are saying, ah, it's taking time, it's taking time. Remember that 1,000 years in the sight of God is a day. <laughs> so, it's close, very close. Redemption is close. Redemption is close. Before I go ahead, I want to apologize to you. Last week, I discovered that some of the audio was not um, pronounced. The audio appeared to be muted. It was a technical uh, fault. Please, I apologize on behalf of those that were listening to the prophecy. So today, I'm going to um, speak on that part and uh, of that prophecy that was that was muted. I'm going to speak on that part. I'm going to explain. And I'm going to throw a little light on what I've told you before. I will recall. It is, it is good for us to recall what we have said and then to increase your faith. Because a, a lot of people, they have faith. Why a lot of people also are painting? So we need to strengthen the weak. Let the weak say, I am strong. If you are watching this, platform and you are weak say i am strong say i am strong say i am strong do not look at what you are seeing around you look at what the prophet said what i said look at what god said don't look at what you see around you sometimes what i say even me i say ah, god i know you will do it and god will do it do not be afraid be courageous I've told you that Nigeria is at the edge of falling, but the hand of God is upon this nation. It is the hand of God that will help us. We should not rely on the arm of flesh. Last week, I, I spoke on the prophecy of what I told you in June 15, 2022, and June 18, 2022. I told you about the fight of two giant elephants. And I said that these two giant elephants are two political giants that they are going to fight. I did say it, I said it in June 15, 2022 and June 18, 2022. I said it in some other broadcast. And I told you last week that this fight will pave a way for Pito B to win. It will pave a way for Pito B to come in. Because I say, but we go, Pito B will come in. Pito B is going to come in by the hand of the Lord. It's not by power, it's not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Pito B is going to come in and sit on the seat of presidency by the power of God. It's not by might. It's not by power and not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. It's not by power. Ah, this, this song just came into me now. I want you to sing it along with me. It's not by power and not by might. But by my spirit, says the Lord. Oh, this mountain, 
shall be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain shall be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain shall be removed by my spirit, says the Lord. Right now I see mountains removed and I see mountains scatter. I want you, wherever you are, to see with the eye of the spirit that the mountain that is entering the chosen vessel of God, the man that God has chosen to lead this nation, that mountain is removed and is scattered in Jesus' name. That mountain is removed right now. This is a different dimension of the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. That mountain is removed and scattered. It will happen. It will look like a dream. I see something like a spark from heaven. It's happening right now in the realm of the spirit. You will see it. You will see it. You will see miracles. You say, how did it happen? A man will say, how did it happen? But God said he will do it. He will do it. I don't care what I see around me. When you look around, you are disappointed by many things. Where are the Moses of this generation? I remember when we were looking for um, we, went, we were looking for the best person we were voting, and we were thinking uh, how there will be a change. And young men came out and they vote. And there are people that came under the platform of Labour Party because of the influence of Obi Dati. They became legislators. Where are their voices? Where are the Moses of this generation? Moses said in the book of Hebrew 11.25, let me read it for you. Moses said, Hebrew 11.25, he says, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. Moses decided to suffer with the people of God. We have people we elect that we suffer to go and vote. People went to go and vote. They suffered. They took their time to go and vote. And then they came up from under the platform of Labour Party and they won. Where are their voices? Where are their voices? The Bible says, Blessed is the man that considereth the poor. Many people are languishing, suffering in the nation, and they give you big money for to go and buy cars, and no voices are talking any longer. Go and buy cars, then you millions of naira spent on you, and then you keep quiet. Where are the Daniel of today? Where are the Daniel? God is looking for a Daniel. God is looking for a Daniel. Do you know what the Bible tells us in Daniel chapter 1 verse 8? He said Daniel proposed in his heart. He proposed in his heart that he will not eat any portion of the king's meat. Like that. He said he will not eat it. And he told the Enoch, please, we make arrangement for us. We are Hebrew children. We believe in the God of Hebrew. We cannot eat anything that is sacrificed to an idol. And they, they said, okay, what do we do? He said, give us straw. Give us straw, things like vegetable. And they gave them. He said, but if you don't look fresh, you know I will be, I will be the, the king is going to deal with me. He said, ah, don't worry. Give us. They did it and they were better than those people that were eating, drinking. Do you know that there is repercussion? When you get into power, you are in the position of God as a lawmaker to speak, to stand for the poor. Many are suffering. Bible says in Psalm 41, verse 1, Blessed is the man that considereth the poor. You are enjoying, then you keep quiet. You no longer consider the poor. No voices. We are not hearing anything. I told you that if we can, can if we can uh, have faith and our, we join our faith together, we will, we, will, we, will, we will get to the new Nigeria very fast. 
I say what we need is to, you have your faith, I have my faith, we build it together. You speak, I speak, we build it together. Then we'll get into the new Nigeria. Then when you get into uh, the office and they are giving you money, some big money, you are not saying anything, you are collecting. You are not like Shedrach, Meshach, Abednego. Shedrach, Meshach, Abednego, they took their stand. They told the king, we are not careful in this matter. He said, if our God cannot save us, we are ready to die. And they pushed them into the, into the very furnace. Ah, you right there in the very furnace. Right there, there was a fourth man. Nebuchadnezzar saw it. He says, it's like the son of God. Inside, the, 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 the fire became AC. Where, where? If you can't suffer persecution, it means you are not standing. Jesus told us, he said, you will be persecuted. Where are they? May God help us. I'm sorry I have to go a little into these things. I'm being touched. I want to appreciate the fathers that are speaking, saying the truth. I remember in October 14th, October 10th also, I said it that there will be rigging, and this rigging will be discovered. This, there was rigging, rigging has been discovered yet. Yet, some people keep quiet. We want, I want to use this platform to appreciate. I don't want to mention names. Because if I mention names, some will say, ah, I didn't mention their name. I want to appreciate fathers who stood and speak. Encourage the system. Fathers who have vision for this nation to come into the new Nigeria. New Nigeria is coming. Let me go back to the prophecy that I have. New Nigeria is coming. New Nigeria is coming. New Nigeria is coming. So unfortunate that we have a system that things are somehow. The system is a relative insane system. But we thank God that we have people who are not insane. People who still fear the Lord. Who stood for the truth and speak out the truth. Up to now, INEC has not apologized to Nigeria. It shows how hard we are. And God told us last year that if we, if that revolution is inevitable. But we went, we prayed. Men prayed. People prayed. Our principal said, calm down, calm down, calm down. And he stopped that revolution that would have taken place. And I thank God for it because now we are in the way of the wilderness. This is a spiritual journey. That's why you need to have the spiritual eyes to see. Because what I saw this morning, I was amazed. Mountain is going. The mountain has scattered. Doors have opened. Very soon, we will get into the new Nigeria. I know what I'm talking about. I'm not here to talk about feelings. If I'm to follow feelings, I would have forgotten about this, this dream and this vision. I'm here to speak the mind of God to the best of my knowledge. I'm not saying I am 100% perfect, but I know that our God is 100% perfect. And his name reigns forevermore. Glory be to God in the highest. Glory be to God in the highest. Miracle will happen. I told you that two giant elephants will fight. And this fight will be fierce. This fight you are seeing is going to be fierce. Because this one will bring evidence. This one will say, will say that your evidence is, not, is nothing. This one will say, no, this evidence is glaring. This one will want to shambolize that evidence. And in the process, there will be crisis. I said it last year. That there will be crisis. There will be crisis. There will be revolution. The fight will be so fierce. A tough fight between these two political giants have started. And it will be tougher and tougher and tougher. I told you that the elephant by the left is bad. And the elephant by the right is article. I told you last year. The elephant by the left is the one I want to emphasize. The child that will climb on that elephant. A child will be so powerful to climb on that elephant. That was the vision I saw last year. Last year, and I gave you 
this prophecy in June 15, June 18. Go back and check the broadcast. A child was able to overpower the left elephant. I told you who the child is. But before the child will overpower the elephant, something will happen. And that is the crisis. Crisis. Because this one will say, uh, this thing is enough to remove this one. This one say, no, it's not enough. It's not enough. This one will say, ah, the, the elephant by the right, which I told you is article, will say, ah, this one, this, this evidence is enough to remove this um, uh, elephant by the left. The one in the left say, no, it's not enough. There will be a combat, a, a fierce and tough battle between them. Because God said since last year that it is, he is going to add in their heart, and it, I told you that it is the act of God. What you are saying is the act of God. It is a program that God has designed to take us into the new Nigeria, to, to ensure that he paved the way for Pitobi to come in. These two giants will fight, and there will be political anarchy. There is going to be anarchy between politicians. And this one will say yes. This one will say no. Confusion is coming. Because already I told you that Baat and his followers and those who say we reject the uh, new Nigeria, those who reject the truth, those who stand on falsehood, they have sink into the Red Sea. They have sink into Because of the evidence of that Red Sea, you will see mechanical force, activities, but it will turn to become a futility. It will be futile. Futility. Futility. This thing will lead to crisis. If the elephant by the left remain unrepentant and stiff-necked, if he remains stiff-necked and unrepentant, this battle will be tough. It will be tough. This battle will be tough because this one will say, um, uh, I have the evidence, I've gone to USA, I've brought all the information. This thing is glaring, everybody is saying it is truth. And this other side will say, I have the capacity, I am in control, I will shambolize it. And in the, in the course of shambolizing it, there will be anarchy, political anarchy. I told you since last year, that's why I said no swearing, but they swear in in. I told you that the swearing in is just like a ceremony of marriage without the payment of dowry. This is the mind of the Lord. Is God allow it so that his permissive will will go ahead and then the end he will take his glory. God allow Pharaoh so that he can take his glory. God allow uh, Nebuchadnezzar so that he can take his glory. God also allow Nebuchadnezzar to go into the bush so that he can take his glory. He does whatever he, he wants, he likes, because he is the supreme one. He is God, and nobody can challenge his decision. Nobody, no power anywhere. So this battle is going to continue. And then in the process of this battle, this one said no, this one said yes, this one said yes, this one said no. It will lead to political anarchy. It will lead to crisis. And in the process of the crisis, something will happen. The two of them will become so weary. It will become so weary. The two elephants. I told you that the two elephants became so weary that the one by the left will begin to stretch. I saw stretching. Stretch. It will stretch. It will stretch. In the process of stretch, a small child was able to overpower him. That small child, I told you who that small child is. If you have been following our my prophecy from June last year, I told you who that small child is. I want to give you as an assignment because I told you who that small child is. Go and, go and search. 
But I told you that Cyrus is coming. Cyrus is coming. I gave you characteristics of Cyrus. It is Cyrus that will make it easy. Easier, sorry. Let me use the word easier. It will make it easier for the child to climb that elephant by the left. Cyrus is a man like you and me, anointed by God, which I cannot tell who is Cyrus, but God knows. Cyrus will come and make it easy for that small child to overpower the elephant by the left. It's going to happen. It will take place. It will look like dream, but it will come to pass. I know there are battles, spiritual battles going on, but our God is the God that has power over all powers. He is the God that has power over all powers. That small child will overpower the left elephant. That small child will overpower the left elephant. And that will pave way for what is about to happen. Is going to pave way. It is after that small elephant have overpowered the, the left elephant, which I told you the left elephant is bad. You will now see that Bart and his followers will be weakened. I saw where he was deserted. They are going to desert him. People you see that follow you, they follow you for what they will gain. That's his human being. But a time will come, the same human being will desert him. He will be decided. I saw him in a place of darkness recently. And he was walking, going, going alone. What a world. Evil world. They will desert him. They will desert him. I told you his end will end in mystery. That small child will overpower him. The mystery of the small child, I gave it to you last year. In June, from June, check the broadcast, June 15, June 18. But that child wouldn't, he wouldn't have been able to overpower him without the influence of Cyrus. I told you the characteristics of Cyrus. Let us check back the characteristics of Cyrus. Let's check. Um, Isaiah chapter 45. Isaiah chapter 45. Cyrus is coming. I was sleeping on my bed when I heard it. Cyrus is coming. Because I saw Cyrus. He, the people that were hold, carrying Nigeria, the old men, I saw old men, prominent old men, they were carrying Nigeria. And the, Nigeria became heavy. And they were closer to a spot where Nigeria will fall. There was a big gully at the end of the world. But what I saw was that this Cyrus, he took the Nigeria from those old men, those old men about uh, three. He took it from them and then gave it to Obi. A blood wash Nigeria is coming. A blood wash Nigeria is coming. It will look like a dream, but it will come to pass. Our God can never, never lie. He can fail. Only us can fail. It's only failure is from our side, not God. Our God can never fail. You will see it. It will come to pass. Let me show you the characteristics of Cyrus. Characteristics of Cyrus. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have owed him to subdue nation. We don't know who Cyrus is. He may be a judge. He may be a mechanic. He may be a, an administrator. Cyrus is coming. He will make it possible. It's, but I will show you the characteristics of this Cyrus. God said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have owed him. If you check the broadcast of last year, you will know I gave you some information. I want you to go, digest it, and pray, and let God reveal Cyrus to you. God will speak. 
because he doesn't fail, doesn't lie. The same Holy Spirit that I have, the same thing you two have if you are saved by grace. God still reveals things even to people who are not Christians. He revealed his mind to Nebuchadnezzar. He will reveal it to you. I say he will reveal it to you. In this place, he said to subdue nations before him, and I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaves gates, and the gates shall not be shut. Cyrus is going to be anointed by God. He will be anointed. He will make the way easy. He will make the way easy for that child to, to climb on top of the left elephant. And Cyrus will, he, he say, I will go before thee and make the crooked place straight. Cyrus will go before Obi and Atiku and make it straight for them. It's going to take place. He said, and I will give thee, verse 3, the treasure of darkness and hidden riches of secret places. Cyrus is going to recover money that has been taken, that has been looted in this nation. This nation has, has been bleeding. Those bleeding is going to end very soon. There will be relative sanity. Cyrus will ensure sanity. The fight for morality that is going on will yield results. Don't look at it and say there is nothing going to happen. You will see, you will see it, it will come to pass. God of miracles, it is God that will put obedience. It is not by power, not by might. I burst into song this, mo this moment. And I know that God is about to do something. When you see a servant of God burst into song, then you know that the Spirit is going to work out things. It's not by power and not by might, but by my Spirit, says the Lord. Oh, this mount. The mountain is going... The mountain before Zerubbabel was made low. The mountain between Obi and the new Nigeria has been made low. It has been destroyed. It has been removed. Miracle is going to happen. God, by his miracle, will pick him and put him there. I told you, back we go, be will come in. It will come to pass. It will come to pass. God bless you. Please watch and pray. Pray for this nation. Pray for this nation. God bless you.